Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video we're going to be continuing working on the KX series. If you have not seen part one I will link that in the description below. You can go check it out, maybe leave a comment. And like I mentioned in that video, today we're going to be working on some of those parts that we took off and we're going to be using the Prime MX pads that I've purchased from Cam. I will also have those linked in the description below. Go check them out, maybe purchase some if you have a project. I recommend using them because it will make your project look really good and brand new. Like I said, they really work. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I figured let's get started on these three things right here. We got the brake pedal, the kickstart, and the shifter. They don't look too bad. They're definitely in good condition. Nothing's broken or bent. But as soon as you take a closer look or just flip them over, they're definitely stained from just being dirty over time. We usually don't get that detailed whenever I'm cleaning. But we will take apart this kickstart, get it all greased up, make sure everything works properly. And then this uh, brake pedal, as soon as you flip it over, definitely has some staining from just having mud over it over the years. So let's get started. Let's head on over to the buffing wheel. I don't know about you guys, but the difference is night and day. If you just go back in the video and see what they look like before and to how they look like now, these look, I think they look better than OEM. They are clean, shiny, and all it took was a few minutes on that buffing pad and they turned out amazing. This bike is gonna look even better than it used to, even though it's just a woods bike, but it's still gonna look pretty good. So we're all done with these, got them all polished up, got the kickstarter all taken apart, got it all re-greased, and then I set like the tension on here. We'll have to put it on the bike, see how it feels, but other than that, it feels pretty good. These parts are looking fresh and brand new. All right, the next item that I decided to clean up today is gonna be this tank. Uh, it's a little, not too bad, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, still full of gas, so I'm not gonna actually 
take it apart and clean the inside or anything like that. We're just going to clean up the outside and uh, make it look good again. And there's really nothing to polish here either, but we're just going to give it a good scrub. cleaned up looks much better than what it was There's a lot of hidden dirt especially down here around the fuel pump uh, scrubbed it all out and uh, the pressure washer never really gets to this area so it feels good to get all that get it all cleaned up and I think it looks pretty good all right it's time to clean up the subframe it's pretty dirty I think we can make it look really good with some soap some degreaser and we'll get this aluminum all shined up Put an order in on a new filter. Make this thing look brand new once again. So I actually decided not to take this thing fully apart. I put all the nuts back because I could not get one of those Allen heads off. Uh, this one right here, it just started spinning. So I just, instead of damaging it, I just tightened it back up. I'll just get it cleaned up the way it is. It's gonna clean up really nice. 
and it won't hurt anything I've done it before but we'll just we'll just have to go with it this way All right, I think I'm done with this air box. It looks much better than what it was. All cleaned up. It's not perfect. There is some some mud and some oil and some of those cracks that I can't get to, but I think it's good enough for trails for what we're doing. I think it's perfect. Inside is much cleaner, way cleaner than what it was. So I think we're good on this one. Let's move on to the next item. All right, let's clean up this subframe. It's not too bad but I think we can get it to look a lot better than what it is now. crap look how good this thing turned out I am pretty shocked at how good it looks I ended up using the die grinder to get inside all those little nooks and crannies and uh, turned out really good uh, there's some smudges on there from my fingers uh, your hands will turn black if you uh, shine up aluminum so I suggest wearing gloves but I'm super excited to put this back on a bike see how it looks like and uh, yeah turned out awesome all right, I think it's time to wrap up the video. We cleaned up a lot of parts. They're looking really nice, really shiny. I'm excited to throw them back on the bike, make the bike look a little bit different, a little more fresh. Uh, in our next video, we'll be working on the exhaust. We're gonna shine that up. I know it's just a stock exhaust, but I still think it's gonna look really nice. And uh, I gotta put an order in a bunch of parts. I'm trying to find some graphics. Um, haven't found any that I, that I like, but hopefully I'll be ordering that soon. I have to put another order in for a bunch of other little things that we're gonna put on just to make the bike look um, a little more presentable, um, different. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks again for watching.